And so it took a little over half an hour on day three for India to complete their fourth consecutive innings win, take 60 World Test Championship points, and vanquish Bangladesh by an innings and 46 runs. Mushfiqur Rahim dragged the game to day three for Bangladesh, and the next task for the guests was to make India bat again. And both Ibadat and Mushfiqur Rahim did seem like doing that, trying to score brisk runs on the morning. But a batsman like Ibadat's pedigree could only survive for that long in front of a pace attack which had Omesh, Ishant and Shami. So a steep bouncer from Omesh Yadav and Ibadat was gone. You could also sense a pinch of urgency in Mushfiqur Rahim. He was stepping down the pitch, trying to hoik the fast bowlers. It gave you a sense that Mehmudullah wasn't coming out to bat and by the time the news came of Mehmudullah not being able to bat again. Mushfikur had stepped down once too many to Umesh Yadav, putting the ball straight up in the air as Jadeja caught him. Post which, it was just a formality as India completed their fourth consecutive innings win in tests, the most by any team in the history of test cricket. The Indian Pacers picking up 19 wickets in this test, the most in any home test for any Indian team. The Indian spinners only hardly bowled seven overs without picking a wicket. Virat Kohli became the fifth most successful test captain of all time. Look at that scorecard. The Indian Pacers have dominated this series. The spinners have hardly bowled and hardly picked any wickets throughout this series. And under Virat Kohli, this mean, mean machine of Indian team doesn't seem like stopping.